Well, hello dear friends! Welcome back to another episode of me, Dr. Kali, teaching you how to make a game on Scratch Jr. Alright, let's get started. Click on the home button. Alright, last time we made a jump game. So if you missed that episode, you can click on this link to go there. If you already saw it, let's get started with our second game today. Um, today we're gonna make Bubble Pop. So basically, you're going to be popping bubbles, and it's going to be tons of fun. Alright, well, today, um, I don't think we're going to need our cat, so we're going to hold the cat. Okay, if you press it for a long time, you'll see it wiggles, and you see this X button. So just click on the X. Alright, and then um, we're gonna need some bubbles. Okay, you won't find any bubbles that are drawn um, in here. So we're going to instead draw our own. So we're gonna go click on the paintbrush tool. And then click on the circle tool. And then I'm going to make it a little bit thicker. So maybe use this one, click on it, and then click and drag to make a circle and color it in. All right, that's an awesome circle, but it doesn't quite look like a bubble, does it? So I'm going to change the color to this one. Okay. And I'm going to rename this bubble. Okay. Click on the check mark. All right, we've got our first bubble here. Um, and we're going to, hmm, let's just make it a little bit smaller because it's quite big. So let's drag the shrink block. Click on it one. Maybe two, three times. I think that's pretty good. Okay, we've got the bubble, and I want it to, I don't know, let's say, okay, when you, the green flag is clicked, um, move up, um, and go forever. I love the repeat forever block. Okay, so here we go. It's moving up. Okay, so that's awesome, but um, I want it to pop and disappear when I click on it. So to do that, go to the yellow block and then find start on tap bubble. And then I'm gonna say hide. Okay, let's see if that works. Click on the start green flag. Okay, click. Oh, it disappeared. Is it still there? Please okay, stop. Oh, it came back! Yay! Oh! Oh! It disappeared! Oh! <laughs> That's really cool, huh? But I wanted to make maybe like some sort of sound. Like, there's this pop sound. Okay, maybe we could make it play this pop sound. We go pop! Pop! Okay. Oh, it seems like... The sound is not recording, so I'll make the sound for you, okay? So... Pop! Okay, so it makes a pop sound, and then it hides. But what if I wanted the bubble to come back? Hmm... Huh. Hmm... Okay, let's go to the orange blocks. And do you see this thing called weight? Okay, well, I'm gonna drag that over here. And then I'm gonna say wait. And then, um, can you please show yourself again, Bubble? <laughs> okay, let's try that, okay? So start on green flag. Click. Pop. It disappeared. It's back. Pop. It disappeared. It's back. It's back again. <laughs> All right, so that looks pretty cool, huh? Um, so let's add a background. Um, I think it'd be great to put this underwater. So I'll put that background. And um, I think I want even more bubbles. One is not enough, huh? 
No, I don't think it's enough. And actually, I think it can be smaller. So let's let's click on shrink, drag it over. And that's as small as it'll go. So here we go. All right. And to make even more bubbles, um, I'm going to click the plus button. And I'm going to click on the bubble that we drew. But then I'm going to click on this pink brush before selecting the check mark because this time I want to change it to another color. Let's make it purple. <laughs> okay, I'm going to call this bubble 2. Oops. Bubble 2. Okay, so it's humongous again. So let's make it a bit smaller with the shrink block. And then, hmm, I want to have the same code as this first bubble. How do I do that? Well, did you know there's a secret on Scratch Junior? So if you click on the second bubble, there's no code, right? But if you go to the first bubble and drag this code and then put it on the second purple bubble and then let go. Look! The code went on the second bubble! Okay, let's try it again for these blocks, which haven't been transferred to the second bubble, okay? Hold, 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 hold. Let go! Oh my gosh! Let's look at this! Yay! So we've got two bubbles now, and you can pop that one, and you can pop this one. Amazing! All right, so it looks a little bit empty in the ocean. Um, so I'm gonna add some fishies. So let's go down here. Where are the fishies? They are right over here. Okay, so I'm gonna add this fish. And I'm gonna make this fish when we start on green flag. Um, let's make it go... Left two times and then right one time and go forever. Okay, let's see. Yay! Okay, so that's pretty cool. We've got the fish. Oh, but it's like, it looks kind of crazy actually. So I'm just gonna do this one instead. Move left and then move right so then it's just like here and then it's like going back and forth okay and then maybe add more fish okay from here you can do whatever you want okay uh, let's see okay have a a whale okay oh that whale is humongous okay uh I'm gonna make the whale... Actually, that's okay. Whale size is okay, but move this fish over here so they don't kind of bump into each other. And for the whale, um, um, how about start on green flag? Whale can just let's let it glide. Whales are so majestic and peaceful, so let's let it glide. All right, there we go. So if we make this really big, we can see the bubbles and we can pop it, pop, 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 pop. Oh, it's so hard to drop, pop. Oh, there we go, pop. Amazing. Well, there you have it, guys. Today's game was basically pop the bubble in the ocean. <laughs> I hope you guys like this game. Well, um, if you liked it, make sure to like this video, click on the subscribe button, because I'll be back with even more game tutorials that you can do on Scratch Junior. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye!